Welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. I was not able to get the raw results in that previous video as I ran out of time in one hour time limit draw. Uh, so here we go. Raw opens up with, uh, from the All State Arena in Chicago. Michael Kozal welcomes us to the show. He's joined in by Corey Graves and Renee Young. We go right to the ring. Out first come Triple H and Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels out next. Triple H talks about climbing a mountain for 25 years, conquering it year by year. Triple H says, he and Sean could be at the top of the mountain after his win over the Undertaker at Super Showdown on Saturday in Australia, but they aren't because of the avalanche that hit him after the match, leaving them wondering if the mountain was just a lie the whole time. And then we cut to a video package with footage from the match, from the post match angle with Taker and Kane getting the best of Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Triple H says respect is a word that has lost its significance as of late. He goes on about respect, and Sean also chimes in, talking about respect. Sean says he had a long flight back from Australia to think about the beatdown they got. It's like 20 hours. So to think about the last eight and a half years, he sat there and honored, honored his word out of respect to the Undertaker, a respect that never existed at all. Sean says that the flight landed in Chicago, and Triple H asked him three words. He thought he would never hear again. Triple H fills it in. Are you ready? Triple H says. The question isn't for Sean. Because he knows he is, uh, Sean is. The question is for Kane and, and Taker. Brother, br the brothers of destruction. At WWE Crown Jewel. The question is. Are you ready? The crowd pops. Sean says DX is ready. Sean has a message for Kane and, and Taker. With absolutely no respect at all. If you're do down with that. They got two words for you. And reveal their new. T-shirts, crowd finishes, the suck it, and they pose with their new T-shirts. As Colesaw says, DX is back, and as DX exits the ring together, as Colesaw talks about Sean possibly coming out of retirement at Crown Jewel. Well, he's advertised for the match. Uh, still to come, two Super, super Showdown rematches. The Riot Squad versus Bella Twins and Ronda Rousey. The Shield versus Braun Silver. Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre, also Hall, WWE Hall of Famer, Trish Shadis will be here. Kevin Owens versus Bobby Lashley is next. We go to the commercial. Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens was up first. Back for the break. Out comes Bobby Lashley with Leo Rush. Kevin Owens was out next. Back and forth start the match. Rush starts talking trash and hyping Lashley up on the mic. Owens dumps Lashley to the floor and follows, but ends up floored with a clothesline. Rush continued to hype Lashley out on the, on the mic, saying he knew Owens would, wouldn't fly over the top rope because he's not a top athlete like Lashley. Uh, the bell, they bring it back in, and Owens sends Lashley to, out to the floor. Owens with a kick to the face from the apron. Owens runs the ropes and leaps over the top rope. Taking out Lashley on the floor, fans pop, pop big for Owens. As Leo Rush, it sounds like Leo Rush is on the ring announce, announcement himself more than... The announcers are calling the match. Lashley recovers on the outside. They trade big shots. Lashley charges, but Owens moves. Lashley hits the barrier hard and goes down. Owens goes back after Lashley and to return to the commercial. Back from the break, Lashley has Owens grounded in the middle of the ring. Rush continues to work the mic. Owens fights up and out. Lashley runs into the elbow. Rush keeps on and fans start booing him. Owens chases Rush around the ring. Now, while Rush talks trash, Owens catches Rush. But Lashley makes a save to Booze. Lashley sends Owens into the steel steps. Lashley launches Owens into the barrier next. Rush keeps chanting Lashley's name as he brings Owens back in the ring. Lashley works over Owens in the corner. Lashley with a running shoulder thrusts in the corner. Owens counters a move and starts fighting back to a pop from the crowd. Lashley catches Owens with a huge spine buster and Rush cheers him on. Lashley scoops Owens for a big vertical suplex. But Owens kicks out of two. Lashley with a full Nelson now. Owens breaks a hole and delivers a super kick. Owens with a stunner for a two count. Owens goes to, to the top, but Rush distracts him, allowing Lashley to knock Owens down. Owens is hung upside down in the tree of woe. Lashley with a big boot to knock Owens back to the mat. Lash Lashley focuses on the hurt knee. Lashley scoops Owens and slams him to the mat for the pin and the win. After the match, Rush continues to chant Lashley's name as he enters the ring to stand tall with Lashley. They exit the ring together, but Rush sends Lashley back to the ring. 
Lashley attacks Owens and works works on the knee. Lashley sends the knee into the ring post a few times as officials warn him. Fans move. Lashley wraps both knees around the ring post. Now as Owens struggles, Lashley stands tall on the, on the apron, but fans boo him. Lashley exits exit again. As his music starts back up. Uh, announcers discuss the World Cup tournament at Crown Jewel. There will be four superstars from Raw and four from SmackDown battling to see who is the best. Goes on leads us to a video package on John Cena and says Cena doesn't have to qualify for the World Cup based on his accomplishments. Acting Raw General, Ma General Manager Baron Corbin will host the World Cup Battle Royal later on with the winner qualifying. We get a quick look at the ring and hear the guitar of Elias. Match commercial. Kayla Braxton is backstage with Finn Balor and Bailey to talk about tonight's Big Smash Challenge rematch against Jenna Mahal and Alicia Fox. They're interrupted by Leo Rush and Bobby Lashley, who insult Bailey and Balor and say the real interview is with them. We go to the ring. Elias is out with his guitar. Elias talks about how the legends are talking about him when they talk about the future of WWE. And no one knows this better than John Cena. Elias says Cena knows that WWE stands for Walt with Elias. Elias says the circumstances that led to his loss with Kevin Owens against Cena and Bobby Lashley was not his fault. But he did write a song about it. Elias asked everyone to quiet their cell phones and most importantly shut their mouths. He starts singing about the loss at Super Showdown, taking shots at Cena's hair, Australian accents, and then Chicago. Elias then goes on taking shots at Australia and Chicago as the heat picks up, picks up. Well, the music interrupts and out comes Raw Women's Champion, Ronda Rousey. Rousey hits the ring and raises the title as we go back to Mercer. Rousey and the Bella Twins versus the Riot Squad. Well, whatever that was supposed to happen with Elias, didn't happen. Back with the ring, out comes Bella Twins, Nikki Bella and Brie Bella. They join Ronda Rousey in the ring for this rematch. From WWE Super Showdown, the Riot Squad is out next. Liv, Morgan, Sarah Logan, and Ruby Riot. Liv starts off with Bree and delivers a big slap to disrespect her. Liv ducks a yes kick and mounts her to, to unload. Bree and Liv brawl all over the mat. Tumbling out to the floor, the others separate them and regroup. Rousey and Logan tag in next. They go at it and Rousey lands, lands a throw. Rousey talks trash to Liv and Ruby as they thought about interfering. Riot Squad regroups on the outside as Rousey and the Bella Twins stand tall in the ring. We go to commercial. Back from the break. Nikki hits the fine buster on Ruby. Nikki with a close eye and more offense to, to, for a two count. Bree tags in and launches herself from the second rope. Ruby ends up hitting the STO on the floor. Ruby brings her back in the ring, but Bree kicks out of two. Liv and Logan tag in to keep up the attack on Bree. Logan keeps Bree grounded as fans try to rally. Logan stops the tag with a shoulder tackle. Logan with a hip toss and running knee for a two count. Liv in his ring, levels Bree with a big kick. Bree kicks out of two, Ruby tags in, and then double team Bree for another pen attempt. Ruby kicks Bree grounded, Ruby stops another tag attempt and knocks Nikki off the apron. Rousey runs into the ring, but that allows Liv and Logan to work over Bree as the referee isn't looking. Bree ends up hitting a missile drop, drop kick to Ruby. Ruby waits for the hot tag and finally gets it. Ruby has no one to tag. Rousey floors Ruby, but Ruby rolls her up for a two count. Rousey gets hyped up and backs Ruby into the corner with strikes. Rousey with knees and another takedown. Rousey scoots right and hits her, hit, hits her Rousey buster. Bree stops Liv from entering the ring. Logan runs in, but Nikki shoots her from the floor. Rousey applies the arm bar to right and makes her tap for the submission. Winners of the match drawn to Rousey and the Bella Trends. After the match, the Bellas, the Bell hit, the Bellas hit the ring, stand tall with Rousey as the music hits. Nikki suddenly nails Rousey from behind and drops her. The Bellas double team Rousey as the fans boot. Rousey stands Bree out of nowhere, then turns her attention to Nikki. Nikki get, goes at Rousey, but gets slammed. Rousey goes after Nikki on the floor, and Bree slams her face first in, into the ring, still ring, ring post. <coughs> Officials are trying to break it up, but the Bellas continue to stop, stomp on Rousey. Rousey grabs Bree by her throat, but Nikki makes a save and sends her to the ring, to the ring steps. Nikki throws Rousey down on her face again as officials try to keep them away. Nikki launches Rousey into the barrier next as Bree taunts her. They bring Rousey into the ring. 
They stand tall over her while she's down. Fans chant, you suck. As the Bellas leave and Rousey recovers, as we go to commercial. And they also announce that both Bellas are now on SmackDown, as Brie was previously on SmackDown. Back from the break, announces to show us what just happened to Ronda Rousey as, at the hands of the Bellas. Finn Balor and Bailey versus Jenna Mahal and Alicia Fox. We go to the ring out, first comes Bailey. Finn Balor was out next as JoJo does ring his directions. Jenna Mahal and Alicia Fox are out next with Sunil Singh. Jenner and Balor start, start things off. They go to lock up. Jenner signs Balor for a quick pin attempt. Jenner keeps Balor granted. Balor fights back, but Jenner keeps control. Balor would, would come back to the baseball the basement job kick. Fox tags in, but Bailey comes in, and Balor sends her boots into Fox's face. Balor and Bailey clear the ring, and Santola go to commercial. Back for the break. Fox is in control of Bailey, sliding her back to the mat. Fox stomps on Bailey's hands. Fox on the forearm to the face for a two count. Bailey finally counters and sends Fox to the floor through the ropes. Fox comes back in, but Bailey sends her back to the floor. Balor tags in and unloads on Jenner as he comes in. Balor with a stomp to the chest. Jenner ends up connecting with a kick to the, to the head in the corner. Balor comes right back with a kick to the face. Bailey with sling blade for a two count as Fox breaks the pin. Sane gets on the apron, but Bailey knocks him off. Fox sends Bailey to the floor, but Bailey pulls her out of the out by her leg. Balor comes back and drops Jenner with a kick to the head. From the apron, Balor goes up top and hits a coup de raw for the pin and a win. After the match, Team B&B &B stand tall as we go to replays. Ba Bailey and Balor celebrate as Balor's music plays. Still, it comes back with Trish Atkins is here. Also, The Shield versus Braun Strowman and the Raw Tag Team Champions. We go back to Strowman. Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre are backstage. Ziggler tries hyping his partners up. McIntyre says that's enough. They know exactly what to do, but he's getting a, a little tired of Ziggler always trying to call the shots. McIntyre blames Super Showdown on Ziggler and make, says maybe Ziggler should start pulling his, his weight around here. They argue, and Strowman says, tells them both to shut up because he's tired of hearing them bicker. Braun says they are here to make sure that he wins the Universal title, which will be good for all of them. Strowman says they are taking out the shield for good tonight. And he doesn't want to hear anything else from them. The Strowman walks off. Heath Slater approaches Baron Constipated Corbin backstage. And he wants to be in the World Cup Global backstage. Battle Royal. Corbin says he approached, he appreciates the offer, but Slater just isn't good. Isn't any good. Corbin walks off as you go to commercial. Uh, what a stupid segment there. I think Slater is a lot better. Is it, it, better because he has kids. Consummated one. He's just consummated. He puts himself in the matches because he came. Heck it uh, with the regular general manager. Uh, back in the array, we get another replay of the DX reunion from earlier. DX versus brother detective is missing for crowd duel in Saudi Arabia. World Cup Battle Royal. They are announced as enhancement ta talents. In the ring, awaiting. Acting Raw General General Manager, Constable, Constable Corbin, Triple C, without next. Corbin talks about how historic Crown Jewel will be. He plugs the WWE World Cup one night tournament and says he could have just put himself in the tournament, because but he wanted to prove he belonged by winning the first Global Battle Royal. Corbin says he went all over the world to gather this group, but for the most star-studded battle royal ever, Corbin re-enters the ring and the international enhancement talents look on. He reads off a list of their names and ridiculous gimmicks. One of the characters is the Conquistador. Hmm. Who was it? Could it be Edge? Could it be any of the other previous Conquistadors? Well, looks more like gold dust in a gold outfit. Nothing more. Corbin announces himself as a representative of the United States. The bell rings and Renee calls them all clowns. They surround Corbin and, and he rocks one of them. A big brawl breaks out and Corbin gets attacked. Taking it into the corner, Corbin kicks them all away. The conquistador is just sitting out, outside the ring as he goes underneath the bottom rope. Jobbers are getting eliminated now. Corbin finally clears the ring and stands tall as he thinks he's a winner. Posing in the corner, Corbin calls for the bell, but the Conquistador is still in the match. 
Corbin goes out. But the Conquistador runs back in. Corbin enters and Conquistador hits him with a trio of German suplexes. Well, who else does the, the suplexes? And then the angle slam. Next, and then eliminates Corbin to win the match. And he's in the World Cup. After Vale, Corbin looks on and can't believe what just happened. The Conquistador dances around the ring and then takes off his mask. Reveals himself as WWE Hall of Famer Kurt Angle. The Raw General Manager gets a big pop. And as the Usuk chants start while his music plays, Angle is going to the World Cup. Let's go to commercial. Back from the break, we see how Kurt Angle just returned. Charlie Caruso approaches Angle backstage and welcomes him back. Angle says he technically is. He says technically he's still on vacation and walks off. Ember Moon with some Nia Jax was up next. We go to the ring. Ember Moon waits as Nia makes her way out. The bell rings. Ember ducks a close eye and they tangle the Jax boxer on an arm drag. Spotting Moon back to down to the mat. Moon tries to mount some offense. So is Jax with insecurity, but she's still standing. Moon goes for a crossbody, but Jax spikes her to the mat. Jax stalks Moon and splashes her in the corner. Jax then tosses Moon across the ring. Moon blocks a power slam and goes for a sleeper on Jax. On Jax's back. Jax then tosses Moon to Moon to the mat. Then Jax blocks a shot. Moon counters a move and takes Jax down with a hurricanrana. Moon with a basement drop kick to send Jax out of the ring. Moon runs the ropes and hits the suicide dive, but Jax is still standing. Moon goes back in. Jax pulls her right back out. Moon hits the mat on her face. As the referee counts, Jax presses Moon on the floor, but she slides out, stumbles around, and hits, hits her. Jax ends up running into the apron. As Moon moves, Moon takes it back into the ring, and Jax is counted out. Never Moon wins by count out. After the match, Moon enters the ring to have her arm raised, and Jax looks on as the music plays. Jax enters the ring, and they hug. Jax raises Moon's arm, and they embrace again. So to come, Trish Stratus is here. Back to commercial. Back from the ring, out comes Hall of Famer Trish Stratus to a pop. Trish says they, they will make history at WWE Evolution for in a few weeks, but she wants to address her opponent tonight, Alexa Bliss. Well, she's supposed to be injured, as Trish says last week's moment of bliss was more like a moment of BS. And she's here to give little Miss Pratt a moment of satisfaction tonight. Music interrupts, and out comes Bliss with, with, with Mickey James. Trish makes jokes on Bliss, math skills, and her being short. Bliss wants to put, put the insults aside for now. She has goosebumps being out here. She talks about watching Trish's career and says she can finally tell Trish, woman to woman, that she sucked. Bliss says Trish is glad she wanted, wasn't around back, back then because Trish would have been an afterthought, spending her, spending her career in Bliss's shadow. Trish invites Bliss to come down. To the ring and go at it. Bliss heads to the ring with Mickey at her other side. Trish wait, awaits for a fight. Mickey gets in between. Never says this is not happening right here. Because the people don't deserve it. She got Chicago crowd booze. Mickey says she and Trish. Both know nothing good ever happens in Chicago. Trish says Mickey can protect her little Bessie. But she could... could Tell her what it's like to be in a ring with a seven-time champion. And let he and let her know Trish is going to take care of business at Evolution. Trish says they are both going to find out what a Hall of Fame beatdown feels like. Mickey says she would love to find out. And says maybe they should just do it, do a tag team match at Evolution. Uh, Trish says that's a good idea, but she has to think of, uh, think of a partner. Well, a few seconds later. Trish introduces her partner, WWE Hall of Famer, Lita. And she comes out and comes to the ring. They get the upper hand and double team Mickey. Lita does it, goes to the top, but Bliss pulls Mickey out of the, out of the ring to safety. The tag team is now on for evolution. Instead of singles matches, Mickey and Bliss retreat up the ramp as Trish and Lita hug in the ring. So what are they tag team going to be? Lead a stretch faction? Just a guess. Uh, we got a backstage promo on the shield to hype the main event. Ascension versus Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Again. 
Let's curse you out, go. Ever again. Again. The Ascension versus Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. We go to the ring. Out comes Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Back to Marshall. Back for the right. Ascension is out next. Both Connor and Victor. Doesn't matter which one they are. Because I don't give a crap. They change their names. Connor takes the mic and sends a warning before the bell. Back and forth start. Gable ends up coming in and hitting the message off kick on Connor. Gable covers for the pin, but Connor presses him out of the ring. Gable comes back in and Victor levels him for a two count. Victor unloads on Gable in the corner. Now it's Victor nails a two count. Chicago crowd fans are behind or chanting for CM Punk now. Of course he ain't there. Connor tags back in and they keep the beat down on Gable. Going. Rude finally gets a hot tag and unloads. He drops Connor off the apron and keeps the momentum building on Victor. Rude with a blockbuster. Connor charges, but Gable sends him out. Victor blocks the glorious EDT, but runs into boots in the corner. Gable tags himself in. As Rude looks on, looks to put Victor away. Rude looks confused again. Gable hits the German suplex and holds, a, holds it with a bridge to pin Victor for the win. German suplex, cradle, pinfall. Herbert clicks. After the match, Rude uh, still looks good, uh, looks confused, but they stand tall together. Music suddenly hits, and out comes Officer of Pain, a common reser. They floor Connor at ringside, and in the hit, hits the ring to destroy Gable and Rude. Fan chat for AOP. 205 Live General Manager Jake Maverick watches as it come, and Rezor hits the super collider on Gable and Victor. Drake stands tall with the authors, authors as their music hits. Back for their break, and announcers confirm Nikki Bella versus Ronda Rousey for Evolution. They go over the current cards for Evolution and Crowd Jewel. Back in, inside the arena, and out comes Paul Heyman to the stage. Heyman introduces himself. Do you know how I am? I am the advocate for his client, Brock Lesnar, who will do battle with Braun Strowman and champion Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal title at Crown Jewel. Heyman says he's here to see a fight tonight between the Shield and Strowman. Dolph Ziggler and Drew, Drew McIntyre. Heyman goes on and mentions Lesnar looking to become the dual champion in WWE and UFC. Heyman goes on hyping up Lesnar and his return to the ring at Crown Jewel. Music hits and soon, as soon as Heyman finishes his promo, out comes the Shield for tonight's main event. Shield versus Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, and Drew McIntyre. Camera cuts the crowd and out comes Dean Ambrose. In the Continental Championship, Seth Rollins and Universal Champion Roman Reigns are through, through, through the crowd. We go to commercial as they stand tall in the ring. Of course, Paul Heyman has left the ring. Back for the ring, all comes Ball Summon, all tag team champions, Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. The shield watches from the ring, all six superstars face off in the middle of the ring as we get the belt. McIntyre starts off with Rollins as they lock up. They run the ropes, Drew, Drew clubs Rollins. To drop him. Drew ends up running into a boot and in comes Ambrose. Ambrose gets the upper hand and covers Drew for a two count. Ambrose with punches until Drew manages to tag in Strowman. Strowman floors Ambrose but misses a slash in the corner. Rain tags in and fans pop as he faces Strowman. Strowman backs Reigns in the corner and tosses him across the ring. Ron with a running shot in the corner. He goes for another but Reigns rocks him. Reigns tries to power Braun on his shoulders but he can't get him up. Braun Drops Reigns again. Brown takes Reigns to the corner and tags in Ziggler for a quick double team. As Drew tags in for a double team suplex. But Ambrose and Rollins stop it. The Shield sends McIntyre and Ziggler out to the floor. They turn to Braun next, but he hops off the apron. As the fans are booing. Braun goes over to two of the tag team champions and yells at them. Telling them to get, to get their crap together and we go to commercial. Back from the break and Braun dominates Reigns. Ziggler tags in and keeps control. Reigns ends up moving as Braun runs into the corner after he came back in. Reigns looks to make a comeback. Now as Reigns catches Braun in a Samoan drop for a pop. Reigns tags in at the same time as Ziggler. Uh, Rollins tags in at the same time as Ziggler. Rollins with a sling blade. Rollins does a suicide dive to drop McIntyre on the floor. Rollins comes back in and rocks, rocks Ziggler. Springboards in from the apron for a two count. Rollins cranks up for Cranks the band up for the song. Let's fans do the burn it, burn it down chant. Rollins misses it. And Ziggler kick, kicks his knee. Rollins blocks the famouser. They trade pin attempts. And Rollins hits Buckle Bomb for a two count. And Drew breaks it up. 
Ambrose tackles Drew and rocks him. Ambrose tosses Drew out of the ring. Showman grabs Ambrose and Rollins by their throats, but Reigns hits him with a Superman punch. Ambrose and Rollins take Showman out, sending him to the board. They run the ropes and hit suicide dives on McIntyre and Ziggler. Showman grabs Rollins and Ambrose, but Reigns runs the ropes to make the save with the big dive. We go to commercial with everyone down on the outside. Finally, back from the from a commercial, and Braun, Braun is in control of Rollins in the ring. Braun drops Rollins in the head, but but uh, Rock. Braun keeps Reigns grounded. Braun takes Rollins to the corner and rocks him. Drew tags in next and levels Rollins for a two, two count. Drew talks to Travis and waits for, for Rollins to get up. Rollins fights back and drops Ziggler off the apron. Drew stops him from tagging and delivers a stiff kick to the face for another close two count. Ziggler tags back in and puts the boot to Rollins while he's down. Ziggler mocks, mocks him and taunts Rollins, then boots him in the head. Fans try, try to rally for Rollins. Rollins catches a drop kick and catapults Ziggler into a turnbuckle. Drew tags in and, st and stomps Rollins from tagging in. Rollins counters and cho uh, takes chops from Drew, but then drops him with an insecurity. Showman tags in and knocks Rollins and Ambrose off the apron. Showman sends Reigns in the seals and ring steps. Showman yells at Ziggler, telling him, That's how you car carry your weight. Not this crap you've been pulling. Ziggler yells back. Ron drives him by the throat. Drew comes in and, and gets in Br Braun's face, yelling back at him. Rollins comes from behind, sending Drew into, into Braun and rolling Drew up for a two count. Braun ends up on the outside. More chaos now. Ambrose finally gets a tag. He does a suicide dive to Strowman and Drew on the floor. Ambrose with clothes on on Drew out of the corner. McIntyre catches Drew, but he slides out and rolls Drew up for a two count. Ambrose with a neck breaker for a two count. Ambrose then takes Drew to the top for a superplex, but Drew headbutts him to the mat. Ambrose kicks Drew, and Drew leaps at, loops, leaps at him. Drew blocks dirty deeds, more back and forth. Ziggler provides a distraction, and, and Drew nails a big spine buster, but Reigns breaks it up in two. Ziggler with a super kick. Wallace bites off. Drew and Ziggler. Ziggler blocks the ripcord. Ambrose also tangles with Ziggler. Ziggler and Rollins tumble out to the floor. Drew and Ambrose go at it now. They collide. Both go down. Out on the floor. Braun takes out Reigns on the floor. Ambrose runs the ropes for a dive, but Braun catches him. Ambrose turns that into a, a DDT on the floor, dropping Braun hard. Everyone is down. Reigns hits a spear to Braun on the floor. Ziggler, Rollins, and Ambrose and Drew are back in the ring now. Rollins takes Ziggler back to the floor as they both tumble over the top rope. Drew nails a Claymore on Ambrose for the pin. You win. After the match, Drew takes him to the title and he heads to the outside, helping Braun up and then Ziggler. We go to replace as Drew's music hits. The winners raise their arms and pose together on the ramp. The music stops as the shield slowly recovers in the ring. Ambrose leaves by himself and walks up the ramp. Rollins and Reigns watch from their, from their knees in the ring. Ambrose walks up the ramp and, and straight to the back without stopping. Raw goes off the air with Rollins and Reigns looking on. There was no dark match main event after 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 uh, Raw went off the air in Chicago. Uh, we had uh, Universal Champion Roman Reigns stood with Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins, looking shocked and confused on how Dean Ambrose walked out on his own following the main event. Ambrose did not come back out. For those who missed it, Ambrose left on his own and walked straight to the back. After a shield main event loss to Braun Strowman and Raw Tag Team Champions Drew McIntyre and Dolph Ziggler. Also, what happened after uh, Raw is WWE announced after Raw that Kevin Owens has suffered injuries to both knees during the heel turn attack from Bobby uh, Lashley. John po Pollock reports that the injury angle was done on Raw to explain Owens needing legitimate time off for real knee surgery. The hope is that the knee surgery is minor procedure, but they won't know the severity of the injury until the knee is assessed. Uh, there's a possibility that the injury is serious and then Owens would need more time to recover. As I get more updates, I'll give you more on the status. Thank you, thanks again. Peace out. See you on the video. If you don't know, just call me, brothers and sisters.